This is it. We are finally ready to begin the final push towards max. Here's the stats. We have 95 prayer right now, 98 herb lore. If we exchange the void knight, you can see we have zero points and we need about 12,000 pest points. Uh, you can cap out at 4,000 points. So we have to get 4,000 points three times and uh, it should take us about 90 hours. I'm gonna say 100 hours to be safe and because 100 hours is a nicer number to say. So we got 100 hours left for prayer and maybe like 10 hours or so left for herb lore. We also should have all the herb lore supplies we need as well, looking in the herb tab here. It should be just enough. Uh, worst case scenario, we're like 50 to 100k XP off and I'll just maybe go do a farm run or collect from kingdom and that should give us enough that we need to get to 99. But yeah, for now, we're gonna do pest control and in between while I'm editing videos and stuff, I'm gonna be training herb lore. But for now, let's hop back over to the PC world and sell my soul away to the Void Knights. Each game of pest control on the veteran lander gives you five points, which means we only have about 2,400 games of pest control left to go, or successful games of pest control, that is, because you don't always win. Oh look, a virtual level of 100 strength. Huge milestone. I have all the potions here in my inventory that I have to decant into four dose potions. So we're gonna head over to Varrock and talk to Bob Barter at the GE and get them decanted. I'm looking at the amount of potions I have here and there's just a ridiculously high amount of potions that I don't think I'll ever be able to go through. Like almost 20,000 super attacks, all these super energies, I'll be stamina's eventually. It's just too much for an Iron Man to handle, but let's go ahead and decant all of these into four doses. Oh my god, that's so many potions. Okay, let's do a price check and see what's all worth, as well as uh, I guess the tour stills for the super combats we'll be making. 40 mil worth of supplies right here. The reason why I decided to decant these potions specifically into four doses is because for super combats, it requires a four dose super attack, super strength, and super defense, otherwise you can't combine them with the torso to make the super combats. And then for the staminas, you can use any dose of super energy potion to make them, and you get the same amount of XP per dose that you make, uh, each dose requiring one amylase crystal, but it just makes sense to use four dose potions to save time. Now that we have the withdraw X feature, it makes it so much easier to make super combats. Now you can just left click all four of those and don't have to worry about right clicking four times. I remember back in my day. 30 more hours of pest control have been completed. We have 4,000 points to turn in. This will be the sixth time turning in points now. Six out of eight times, almost there. This is where the prayer XP is currently standing at. I'm gonna start turning in points and I will see you back with the level. Okay, one more of these 100 point turn ins and that will put us at 96 prayer. There we go, and uh, we still have 3,100 points left. So that should get us very close to the next level. Not sure if we'll actually get it though. Uh, let's find out though. No, it's not gonna get us there. Here's the last 100 points. That's so close to the level. We're just 67K to go. Actually, tears did just reset. Let's go ahead and do the tears before we hop back into pest control. Let's see it. 10,000 prayer XP. But for now, back to pest control. Another 30 hours until I will see you back with uh, the next 4,000 points to turn in. In order to finish off training Herblore, we have one last ingredient that we have to bank, and that is Amylase Crystals. As you can see, we have a lot of Marks of Grace in here, and we have about 5.7k 4-dose Super Energy Potions. Now, each dose requires one Amylase Crystal, so if we multiply that by 4, we essentially need about 23,000 Amylase. We have hardly any Amylase banked, but luckily each Mark of Grace will come out to 10 Amylase each. So I guess that pretty much means we do kind of have like 42,000 Amylase banked. We're not gonna get that much though, just what we need. We're gonna head over here to Grace. She's the one that sells Graceville and she also sells the Amylase packs of 100 Amylase for 10 Marks of Grace each. So I'll just buy an inventory and the price shouldn't go up. Yeah, okay, <laughs> that'd be kind of weird if it did. But we're gonna start uh, unpacking all these and I'll see you back once we have 23,000 of them. And that is it. We now have all the supplies banked that we need for 99 herb lore. 23,000 amylase. I guess we could do a price check of it if, you, uh, if you're you curious about it. Almost 23 mil worth of amylase. I just wanted to bank this for now though so I can train herb lore when I have downtime. But back to pest control, we have about 1,500 pest points and we are getting closer and closer every day. I decided what I'm gonna do is save herb lore for last and save that last bit of herb lore XP for maxing. And that's because if I get prayer for the maxing party, I'd have to teleport out, run to the monastery, then teleport back, and I don't want to make it extra complicated. I know it's pretty stereotypical to save herb lore for the last 99, 
But I mean, people do it for that reason, and it's gonna be the most convenient for everyone that way. Okay, there we go. There is the last game for another batch of 4,000 points. As you can see right here, that is 30 more hours of work. Let's go to a quieter world and turn these points in. This is the last time we'll be actually having 4,000 points because after this, we only need 3,826 points. I say only as if it's not that much, but uh, we won't hit that cap ever again uh, on this account at least. Last time we turned in points, we were very, very close to the next prayer level. So I'm gonna quickly turn in probably two batches right here. And there's 97 prayer already. Now begins the toughest level in the game. 97 to 98 is the toughest level for any skill because it's the most amount of XP between levels that doesn't get you a 99. So let's go ahead and start the most mentally exhausting and draining level in the game. I've said this before, but every batch of 100 pest points I turn in is 45 minutes of pest control, and it takes one second, one split millisecond to misclick and click the wrong thing. So I always like double check and triple check my work and make sure that I'm always clicking on the right thing there because that'd be very upsetting if I wasted all that time for freaking, I don't know, an herb pack or magic XP or something. It looks like we have exactly enough points to get to the next prayer level. We now have knocked out the hardest prayer level in the game. 98 prayer holy crap dude we are two levels away from maxing 2275 total it's just crazy to see after that long and tedious grind from 97 to 98 prayer we have one prayer level one last final long grind left to go when you ask your mom if you can do one more level before bed that's how i feel right now dude i don't want to go sleep or do anything i just want to grind this straight out but it is like 30 more hours of prayer i can't do that all in one sitting i mean i guess i could if i really wanted to but i'm not going to and we are also very very close to finishing up herb lore as well under 200k xp i mean it's pretty much a free level right there it'll take like an hour or two to get done so here we go this is it we are ready to begin the final grind until maxing now. Just looking at that total, just staring at that, it's just crazy for me to look at. Taking a look at the hit points orb up here, you can see we are very close to a virtual level. Let's go ahead, do uh, another hit, and we have level 105 virtual level for hit points. And I also totally skipped over something before that I didn't even notice until just recently, uh, but we hit level 126 combat. We have capped out our combat level now. The last time drinking from the tiers of Guthics before maxing, 150 tiers, it's giving us just under 10k XP. We're actually very, very close to finishing off prayer now. Probably about three more hours of pest control. And then it's finally going to come to an end. This is it. This is the last game. Make sure everyone knows. You always have to tell everyone that's your last game. When it's your last game. But for me, this is kind of a... <laughs> Kind of a lot bigger of a deal than most people who go for... What is it? Like 1250 points for Void and 1650 for Elite. This is a... Uh, 31,800 points after this. That's it. That was the last game of Pest Control. I never have to do Pest Control on this account ever again. Let's go ahead and hop worlds, go to a quieter world, and uh, we'll turn in this final batch of points. We needed 3.8k points for this last batch instead of the full 4,000. So instead of hitting 32k Pest Points in total, we only needed 31.8k Pest Points. That means that that took us about 240 hours of pest control to get that, and that is 6,360 games. This scoreboard over here was added shortly after I started, so it didn't keep track of all the games I did, but most of them are on there, minus uh, just a couple hundred. So I guess that's kind of proof, evidence right there, in case you didn't believe me. But let's go ahead and start turning in this final batch of points. This just feels so unreal. 3.8k points. Let's start turning all of them in. Okay, and before we turn this last batch of points, let's turn up the volume on the game so we can hear the wonderful music. With this last batch of pest points, this long, tedious grind of prayer that most people probably never end up putting themselves through or never even consider is about to come to an end. Let's do it. I never thought, <laughs> dude, I never thought, wow, let's go grab our 99k and uh, go ahead and buy that cape.
Before I started the herbal grind, I was actually a big concerned that we wouldn't have enough money to either max or at least to buy the max cape, and I totally spaced on this, but when you do pest control, you get GP at the end of each successful game that is 10 times of your level. Uh, so that means we made about 8 mil GP in total from all these games of pest control. So money is not going to be an issue for me for uh, anything <laughs> for uh, the max cape or whatever. Well, here we are. Let's head up here and talk to Brother Jared. He's going to be the one that will sell us the cape. I can figure out how to talk to him. Yeah, there we go. That is such a beautiful sight. Oh my gosh. That cape looks so good. It looks so good, dude. We have to do the emote. We always have to do the emote. Wow. I can't believe you freaking did it. We finished prayer. We're done though. We're pretty much all set to max. We have 99 everything except Herblore. That's like half an hour of training Herblore. And uh, the party's tomorrow, so we've got a day to chill and fish some anglerfish or something. And I guess I'll see you back tomorrow at the max party. Well, we're just a couple hours away now for maxing. And I'm going to be maxing in the Birthorp Games Room. And the Birthorp Games Room is a place I spent a lot of time as a kid with friends. And it holds a lot of nostalgia for me. So for me, I think this is the perfect place to have the event. And uh, right now it's pretty empty. But I have a feeling there might be a few uh, extra faces here very soon. Okay, first off, I want to thank all of you who have watched the videos, or stopped by the streams, or left kind comments. And even if this is your first time here, it truly means a lot, and I can't thank you enough. Because your support is honestly the biggest motivation, and you are the biggest reason why I keep on going and why I'm here right now, so thank you. I made this account in October of 2017 as my first Iron Man account without knowing that I would fall in love all over again with this game that's been such a big part of my life since I was a little kid. <laughs> I've grown up playing this game and I've learned a lot of lessons. I'm so grateful for all the things it's taught me. But one lesson that stuck with me the most and continues to hold true with me to this day is that the journey is more important than the destination. And with that said, this isn't the end of the journey, this is just the beginning of so much more to come. Let's make this potion and start the next chapter in three, two, one. There it is. We maxed. We actually maxed the hardcore. Let's, let's go get the herbward cape. Yo, what the heck? There's so many people. It's by the herb lord cape. I don't think I'll be able to see myself doing the emote anyways. <laughs> Thank you. 
gonna do it. We've made the Virgin Island. We've done it. Thank you guys. Thank you all so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs>